Field steps on the track for today's first race. Race one is the start of the early pick five at six and a half furlongs. Race one, seven minutes.
Approach the gate. Horses at the gate, it's post time. For race one, start of the early pick five. Harrodsburg and Army Time. All in line. All set. And they're off. Good break from in between horses. Carpe Capella is up in the early mix. Shreveport, his hard scent is towards the inside. And there's Harrodsburg. Harrodsburg has now put a length in front of the field as Carpe Capella's in the red cap is in tight. There's Shreveport. At the rail is joined by Army Times and the trailer. Okay, sick at the back end of the field as they work up the back stretch. On the front end, it's Harrodsburg. And Harrodsburg, Jorge Vargas Jr., they're up by three quarters of a length. Nowhere to go right now for Shreveport, who's down towards the inside. They went 22 and 1 for the opening quarter mile. Army Times is ranging up on the outside. Carpe Capella is losing ground quickly from the back. Here comes Okasik. And Okasik is starting to roll from the back as they're well into the far turn now. Harrodsburg has got the lead. Army Times is now a clear second. Shreveport starts to lose some ground in third. Here comes the run from Okasik and Dylan Davis. They're bounding up on the outside, but still have four lengths to make up. Harrodsburg is doing it very nicely so far. Went 45 and 4 for that half mile time. And there goes Harrodsburg at the top of the stretch. It's just opening up. Okasik is up on the outside of Army Times. Is starting to move in closer, but Harrodsburg has got a six length cushion. Approaching a furlong left to go. Harrodsburg is striding away. Okasik is putting together that late rally. It's still Harrodsburg in front. Okasik is cutting into the margin a touch, but it's going to be Harrodsburg to win the opener on debut. Okasik there for second. Gets tight. Shreveport in the photo with Army Times in 1 minute 18.15 seconds. Unofficial order finish. First, the four, Harrodsburg. Second, the one, okay, sick. Third, the two, Shreveport. And fourth, the five, Army Times. Four, one, two, five. In race one, running time, one minute, 18.1, five seconds.
Winner of today's first race is the four Harrodsburg, a three-year-old gelding bred in Kentucky by Constitution out of Gracer. Winning owner is Twin Creeks Racing Stables, LLC. Winning trainer, Rob Atras, and the winning jockey, Jorge Vargas Jr. Race one's official. Exacta returned $24.60. The trifecta, $26.37. Superfecta, $5.65. And the final running time, 1 minute 18.15 seconds. Coming up, it's race two. Race two is 22 minutes away. Start of the early pick four is next. break from in between horses Carpe Capella is up in the early mix Shreveport is hard sent is towards the inside and there's Harrodsburg Harrodsburg has now put a length in front of the field as Carpe Capella's in the red cap is in tight there's Shreveport at the rail is joined by Army Times and the trailer Okay, sick at the back end of the field as they work up the back stretch. On the front end, it's Harrodsburg. And Harrodsburg, Jorge Vargas Jr., they're up by three quarters of a length. Nowhere to go right now for Shreveport, who's down towards the inside. They went 22 and 1 for the opening quarter mile. Army Times is ranging up on the outside. Carpe Capella is losing ground quickly from the back. Here comes Okay, sick. And Okay, sick is starting to roll from the back as they're well into the far turn now. Harrodsburg has got the lead. Army Times is now a clear second. Shreveport starts to lose some ground in third. Here comes the run from Okasik and Dylan Davis. They're bounding up on the outside, but still have four lengths to make up. Harrodsburg is doing it very nicely so far. Went 45 and four for that half mile time. And there goes Harrodsburg at the top of the stretch. It's just opening up. Okasik is up on the outside of Army Times. Is starting to move in closer, but Harrodsburg has got a six length cushion. Approaching a furlong left to go. Harrodsburg is striding away. Okasik is putting together that late rally. It's still Harrodsburg in front. Okasik is cutting into the margin a touch, but it's going to be Harrodsburg to win the opener on debut. Okasik there for second. Gets tight. Shreveport in the photo with Army Times in 1 minute 18.15 seconds.
The Cross Country Pick 5 combines the best racing from New York with top races from around the country in one bet. Find it in your track menu at play this Sunday. Races and free PPs posted at nairup.com slash cross country. That champions weren't measured by rings, but by a crown. That the history books were written on dirt. That the greatest of all time was a horse. He is moving like a tremendous machine. Experience the magic at this year's Belmont Stakes as we honor the 50th anniversary of Secretariat's legendary Triple Crown Triumph. Join the celebration at Belmont Park on Saturday, June 10th. Tickets on sale now at belmontstakes.com.
Field stepping on the track here for today's second race. Race two is the start of the early pick four. Field of seven. Race two in six minutes.
approaching the gate. Post time for today's second, runners loading, a field of seven. Start of the early pick four. Justin Nyquist moves forward. Handle the truth. Last to load to the outside. And goes in. All set. And they're off. Good break for predetermined from in between horses and hard sent from the outside. Justin Nyquist is right there with Handle the Truth, tightly bunched on the front end. And now Justin Nyquist has got a nose in front but has company. It's Holiday Jazz who moves on through in the green cap, is now taking the lead. Holiday Jazz and Trevor McCarthy, they're now a neck in front. Right to the outside comes Justin Nyquist, predetermined, was in the early mix, is dropping back, then Handle the Truth who starts to move forward. Also, New York Supreme is now tracking in that third spot. Towards the back end of the field, Russell and Flattering Gal is the trailer. Less than four furlongs to go. 23 seconds flat for the opening quarter mile. A pace duel on the front end, and New York Supreme is ready to join them. Three wide, Katie Davis moves a lot closer. On the front end, Justin Iquist is trying to shake loose. Holiday Jazz is losing ground to the inside, and here comes New York Supreme. New York Supreme has got a lot of momentum, and now New York Supreme has taken command. 47.43 here for... That half mile time, they reach the top of the stretch. It's New York Supreme who kicks for home. Still coming back to the inside, it's Justin Nyquist who battles back is not done. New York Supreme and Justin Nyquist now shoulder to shoulder here for a final furlong. It's Davis versus Davis, and Justin Nyquist is now back in front by a length and a half. Justin Nyquist is striding away. New York Supreme is a clear second late run here from Handle the Truth. Justin Nyquist gets the score. Justin Nyquist there with New York Supreme second. Handle the truth and flattering gal in one minute, 19 and four.
Unofficial order of finish. First, the six, Justin Iquist. Second, the five, New York Supreme. Third, the seven, Handle the Truth. And fourth, the two, Flattering Gal. Six, five, seven, two. In race two, running time, woman at 19.9, eight seconds. Winner of today's second race is the six, Justin Nyquist. She's a four-year-old, bred in New York by Nyquist out of Lemon Lashes. Winning owners, three-player stable in Barrera the third. Winning trainers, Oscar Barrera the third. And the winning jockey, Dylan Davis. Race two, it's official. Winner was bred in New York by Newtown and her stud. Exacta returned $7 even. The double, $12.50. Quinella, $4.20. And the trifecta, $16.12. Superfecta, $8.50, and that final running time, woman at 19.98 seconds. Race three is next. Today's third at a mile and an eighth. Middle pick four, and a field of six. Race three in 21 minutes. They're off. Good break for predetermined from in between horses and hard sent from the outside. Justin Nyquist is right there with Handle the Truth, tightly bunched on the front end. And now Justin Nyquist has got a nose in front but has company. It's Holiday Jazz who moves on through in the green cap, is now taking the lead. Holiday Jazz and Trevor McCarthy, they're now a neck in front. Right to the outside comes Justin Nyquist, predetermined, was in the early mix, is dropping back, then Handle the Truth who starts to move forward. Also, New York Supreme is now tracking in that third spot. Towards the back end of the field, Russell and Flattering Gal is the trailer. Less than four furlongs to go. 23 seconds flat for the opening quarter mile. A pace duel on the front end, and New York Supreme is ready to join them. Three wide. Katie Davis moves a lot closer. On the front end, Justin Iquist is trying to shake loose. Holiday Jazz is losing ground to the inside, and here comes New York Supreme. New York Supreme has got a lot of momentum, and now New York Supreme has taken command. 47.43 here for... That half mile time, they reach the top of the stretch. It's New York Supreme who kicks for home. Still coming back to the inside, it's Justin Nyquist who battles back is not done. New York Supreme and Justin Nyquist now shoulder to shoulder here for a final furlong. It's Davis versus Davis, and Justin Nyquist is now back in front by a length and a half. Justin Nyquist is striding away. New York Supreme is a clear second late run here from Handle the Truth. Justin Nyquist gets the score. Justin Nyquist there with New York Supreme second. Handle the truth and flattering gal in one minute, 19 and four.
Kentucky Derby Bankroll Builder is back at Naira Bets. Bet a $50 win bet on a selected derby prep and get $20 for your derby bankroll win or lose. Opt in each week to play at nairabets.com. It's a domineering display by the ultra-talented McKenzie. McKenzie! 300,000, 275, medium 275,000, 75, but to get 75, 275,000, 250, I'm Ralph now, 250,000, you're able to get 252, but 200,000 dollar.
Field stuff's on the track for today's third race. Race three, start of the pick four. Mile and an eighth, middle pick four in five minutes.
Approaching the gate. Field loading, it's post time for race three. Two out. Lucky, lucky Luke. Engineer Empire, last to load. Goes in. All set. And they're off. Good break for more than a feeling at the rail. Has got early speed. We'll take him into that first turn. Wind Giant's going to be just off of that. Is in between horses. And mild pressure for Manny Franco and Engineer Empire up on the outside. They're one, two into that first turn. It's more than a feeling. And Engineer Empire, they're now within a half length of each other. At the rail, there is Wind Giant. Saves some ground. Tight hold here for Juana Winna. Jose Gomez. Juana Winna wants to go and rein back in. And a wide run for Lucky Lucky Luke, who's going to push the tempo and a three wide move. Lucky Lucky Luke is going to challenge for the lead. And now puts a nose in front as they work to the backstretch. The trailer is for profit. 25 seconds flat for that easy opening quarter mile. Lucky, lucky Luke worked to the front is now up by three quarters of a length. More than a feeling is down towards the inside is in second. Here comes the run up on the outside. Moving a touch closer there is Engineer Empire who's within a head of that leader. For the back in the field comes Juana Winna is followed by Wind Giant who's now moving towards the outside and the trailer for profit. As they approach the half mile pole, 50 seconds flat for that easy early tempo. It's going to be Lucky Lucky Luke who takes him into the far turn. Has got that less than four furlongs to go and is still up by three quarters of a length. Here's the run from Engineer Empire who now moves within a neck of the leader and they start the sprint for home. More than a feeling. Can't keep up here from third. Starts to lose some ground. Wanna win is now rallying on from fourth. From the back, for profit is making a big run. Had a slow pace to chase but is now moved within five of the lead. The trailer is win. Giant. They went 115 and 3 for three quarters of a mile, and now four of them across the racetrack, just getting tight there for more than a feeling as Engineer Empire is kicked on. It's Engineer Empire now sprinting away as quickly up by three, four widening lengths. Wana Winna is in the clear, is chasing from second, more than a feeling, but Engineer Empire was traveling well throughout inside the final 16th. Engineer Empire. Manny Franco. Wins this one easily. All Engineer Empire going to be want to win a second more than a feeling. And Lucky, Lucky Luke getting one minute 54.38 seconds.
Unofficial order finish. First the six, Engineer Empire. Second the four, Wano Winna. Third the one, More Than a Feeling. And fourth the five, Lucky Lucky Luke. Six, four, one, five in race three. Running time for the mile and an eighth. One minute, 54.38 seconds. Winner of today's third race, the sixth Engineer Empire. He's a three-year-old bred in New York by Empire Maker. Out of Reveal. Winning owners, Weintraub, Boucher, Peter Dorsman Racing, LLC, and Delinka. Winning trainer, Christophe Clement. The winning jockey, Manny Franco. 6-4-1-5, it's official. Exacta returns $17.10. The double, $7.90. Trifecta, $30.87. Ten cent Superfecta, $11.40. And the $1 pick three, $44.25. Running time, 1 minute 54.38 seconds. Coming up, it's today's fourth, a mile and an eighth. It's the start of the pick six. Carryover, $41,964 in that pick six carryover. It starts now. The two corrected weight is 115. Race five, scratch the one, my sweet wife. The four wears a goggle again. Scratch the six, Vienna Code. Race six. Scratch the two, Reed Ken. Scratch the five, Striking Speed. Scratch the nine, Gaslight. Race seven, corrected weight. On the two is 115. Race eight, corrected weight on the two is 115. The five wears a hood again. Race nine, no changes. Pick six with a carryover. $41,964. Pick six time is next in 25 minutes.
Could break for more than a feeling at the rail. He's got early speed. We'll take him into that first turn. Wind Giant's going to be just off of that as in between horses and mild pressure from Manny Franco and Engineer Empire up on the outside. They're one, two into that first turn. It's more than a feeling and Engineer Empire. They're now within a half length of each other. At the rail there is Wind Giant. Saves some ground. Tight hold here for Juana Winna. Jose Gomez. Juana Winna wants to go and rain back in. And a wide run for Lucky Lucky Luke who's going to push the tempo and a three wide move. Lucky Lucky Luke is going to challenge for the lead and now puts a nose in front as they work to the backstretch. The trailer is for profit. 25 seconds flat for that easy opening quarter mile. Lucky, lucky Luke worked to the front is now up by three quarters of a length. More than a feeling is down towards the inside is in second. Here comes the run up on the outside. Moving a touch closer there is Engineer Empire who's within a head of that leader. Further back in the field comes Juana Winna is followed by Wind Giant who's now moving towards the outside and the trailer for profit. As they approach the half mile pole, 50 seconds flat for that easy early tempo. It's going to be Lucky Lucky Luke who takes him into the far turn. Has got that less than four furlongs to go and is still up by three quarters of a length. Here's the run from Engineer Empire who now moves within a neck of the leader and they start the sprint for home. More than a feeling, can't keep up here from third, starts to lose some ground. Wanna win is now rallying on from fourth. From the back, for profit is making a big run, had a slow pace to chase, but has now moved within five of the lead. The trailer is winning. Giant. They went 115 and three for three quarters of a mile, and now four of them across the racetrack, just getting tight there for more than a feeling as Engineer Empire is kicked on. It's Engineer Empire now sprinting away as quickly up by three, four widening lengths. Wana Winna is in the clear, is chasing from second, more than a feeling, but Engineer Empire was traveling well throughout inside the final 16th. Engineer Empire, Manny Franco. Wins this one easily. All Engineer Empire going to be want to win a second more than a feeling. And Lucky, Lucky Luke getting one minute 54.38 seconds.
Experience the adrenaline pumping, suspense filled action of the Sport of Kings no matter where you are with Naira Bets. It's fast, easy, and secure. Download the app today and start winning with our lucrative weekly promotions, thrilling handicapping contests, and a one of a kind VIP rewards program. Don't just watch horse racing, be a part of the action with Naira Bets. This proven son of Giants Causeway has sired seven millionaires. With over 10% stakes performers, his recent top runners include Tarabi, placed in the Grade 1 Spinaway and Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies, Grade 2 winner Plum Ali, plus these standout performers. It's a Bushido coming down to the wire in the Ontario Racing Stakes has run them ragged. A proven value sire. First Samurai, standing at Claiborne Farm. Race Lens is the most in-depth product in horse racing with unique features found nowhere else. True odds, predictive analysis, and pace projection. Race Lens, it will change the way you follow horse racing and take your game to the next level.
field steps on the track for today's fourth race. Race four, start of the pick six. Carry over over $41,000, $41,964. The pick six with that carryover starts in five minutes.
approaching the gate. Field has reached the gate. It's post time for race four. Start of the pick six. Carry over over $41,000 coming into this afternoon. Pick six starts now. Two out. Goldini. Truculent to the outside. Truculent. And Trevor McCarthy last to move in. All set. Settled there in between. And they're off. Off a step slow was Royal Realm, who's the trailer. Speed to the inside from Kumar, and Kumar goes right out to the front. Truculent is going to be a touch wide into that turn as Kumar hugs the rail and is now up by a half length. Right up alongside now, here comes Truculent, is going to stalk from the second position, and in between horses there comes Bingo John, who's in the red cap. And also wide is going to be Goldini, that's the leading four. Just behind them, that's Microscope in the fifth position, then followed by Royal Realm, who's out of last after the start, and the trailer is forever wicked. They work to the backstretch. Looks like a moderate tempo early. Kumar has got the lead with mild pressure from Truculent right there in second. Goldini is wide in third. At the rail is Bingo John is in between horses now is bottled up with Microscope who now sees a seam and Wyas moves through at the rail is going to challenge for that fourth position. Royal Realm is out in the center of the racetrack is in sixth. They are very tightly bunched in the front pack and the trailer is still forever wicked. They went 51 and 3 for that easy half mile time. Kumar at 24 to 1 has got the lead as a head in front. Truculent is now asked the question from in between horses. Trevor McCarthy shoving Truculent, and now Truculent comes calling for the lead, and there goes Truculent. Truculent is up by a quick half length, going right with this rival as Goldini up on the outside, and they sprint clear of Kumar, who's back to third. Microscope is in the clear as well, is now alone in the third position. 116.48 for three quarters of a mile. It's Truculent in front. Goldini continues to chase from second, and Microscope is going to have a ground saving trip as they approach a quarter mile left to go. The rail is open here for Microscope, but Truculent has kicked on. It's Truculent who's in front up by a length and a half. Microscope has got every shot to nail this leader here down towards the inside. Losing ground there is Goldini who's back to third. It is Truculent and Microscope down to these two. Truculent out in the center of the racetrack. Microscope's going to try one final time here at the wire. Truculent, Microscope, Microscope now a nose in front. Truculent tries to come back. Photo finish. Photo between Truculent to the outside of Microscope. Another photo back to Goldini and Bingo John in one minute, 55 seconds flat.
Unofficial order finish posted. First, the seven, Truculent. Second, the two, Microscope. Third, the six, Goldini. And fourth, the four, Bingo John. Seven, two, six, four. In race four, running time, one minute, 55.06 seconds. Hold all tickets until race four is official. Winner of today's fourth race is the seven, Truculent. He's a six-year-old bred in Kentucky by Raison de Tat. Out of Raver, winning owner and trainer is Charlton Baker. The winning jockey, Trevor McCarthy. Seven, two, six, four. Favorite gets it done at four to five. Start of the pick six is underway. Race four official, exact to return $8.70, the double $11 even. Quinella, $6.80. Trifecta, $19.12. Superfecta, $17.37. The pick three, $15.60. And the final running time for the mile and eighth, 1 minute 55.06 seconds. Coming up is race five, one mile the distance. Scratch the one and the six. Race five, the late pick five in 20 minutes. They're off 
off a step slow was Royal Realm, who's the trailer. Speed to the inside from Kumar, and Kumar goes right out to the front. Truculent is going to be a touch wide into that turn as Kumar hugs the rail and is now up by a half length. Right up alongside now, here comes Truculent, is going to stalk from the second position, and in between horses there comes Bingo John, who's in the red cap. And also wide is going to be Goldini, that's the leading four. Just behind them, that's Microscope in the fifth position, then followed by Royal Realm, who's out of last after the start. And the trailer is forever wicked. They work to the backstretch. Looks like a moderate tempo early. Kumar has got the lead with mild pressure from Truculent right there in second. Goldini is wide in third. At the rail is Bingo John is in between horses now is bottled up with Microscope who now sees a 